Right, so this should start feeling a little bit easier now. We have two more congruence statements, ASA and AAS, standing for angle side angle and angle angle side. So here we're going to have, we'll make a little note at the top. So we're going to do ASA, which stands for angle side angle. And I'm drawing my two congruent triangles. So the side has to be like the included side. So when we do angle side angle, it would look like this angle side angle. It's like right next to each other. And it's got to be in that order angle side angle. And if you have that on both, then those triangles are congruent. And then the other one, I'll put on the other side, AAS. AAS stands for angle, angle, side. Oh, sorry, I didn't realize it wasn't in the frame. Angle, angle, side. So drawing my two congruent triangles. And again, it has to be consecutive in that order. So angle, angle, side. Angle, angle, side. And if you have those things in common, then your triangles are congruent. Okay, so then looking at the notes here, what is an included side of a triangle? So I called this an included side. So an included side is a side in between two consecutive angles. The side in between two consecutive angles. So like here, these two angles here would be, this is the included side. Or like for this triangle, let's say this and This would be the included side in between those two angles. Okay. So we have angle side angle postulate. We're gonna show it here. If two angles in the included side of one triangle are congruent to two angles in the included side of a second triangle, then the triangles are congruent. So we have angle side angle in common with angle side angle over here, then they are congruent. So ASA angle side angle. And so if they meet these conditions, then you can say that the triangles are congruent and then you could say that all the parts are equal. And then the next one, angle, angle, side, AAS, and that would look like angle, angle, side, angle, angle, side. So there's only four of them. It's literally every combination except for the cuss word. So if you're ever wondering, it's one. Okay, and now we're gonna practice this on the other side, just like we did in the last examples. So can the triangles be proven congruent by ASA or AAS congruence postulate? If so, which one? Okay, so for the first example, we have two angles in common on each of the triangles, and then the shared side is equal to itself. So that gives us angle, side, angle, and angle, side, angle matching. So A, S, A. Number two, we have the two triangles. The shared side is in common, so you have angle, side, angle, angle, side, angle. And then for number three, it shows a side and an angle. And then with this situation, your vertical angles are equal as well. So you can prove that your vertical angles are equal. And then you have A, A, S in common with A, A, S. Angle, angle, side. Okay. 
right, and then for number four, it shows two sides in common. It doesn't give you enough information though, so this would be none. Number five, the vertical angles are also in common, and then you have angle, angle, side, angle, angle, side. And then for number six, you have angle, angle, angle. That's great, um, but that doesn't prove congruent, so none. Can't prove congruent. And then for this one, you have two angles and two angles, but you have a shared side here too. So you have angle, angle, side, angle, angle, side. So that'd be AAS. And that's his all. Um, before you get up to get the computers, I do want to show you the homework so you know what to expect. You're going to have homework on Schoology. I'll just write it here and I'll stop the recording and then I'll show you the homework. Let's see, stop here.